Hello world, welcome to the 110th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Uh, I'm excited to announce the start of this playlist. Uh, this is where uh, I'm going to call it my Iron Man playlist and the goal is to um, you know, follow my progress in making some sort of wearable suit whether it's an actual Iron Man suit or some sort of tactical SWAT-like futuristic suit. And so in today's video, uh, we'll be starting off by connecting a USB GPS uh, using Python and getting the longitude and latitude coordinates. So I purchased this uh, six, or, I don't know, $18 USB GPS from Amazon. Uh, it came with no manual when it arrived, but it did have a URL to the manual. So uh, this is tiny. It's really small. And so the URL uh, sent me to this um, instructions right here. And like a good programmer, I didn't read it and got quickly frustrated by not being able to figure it out real quick. But it did have this driver's link. And anytime you buy your own... Uh, Chinese made USB uh, GPS uh, you always have to install the driver yourself and it's not plug-and-play so if you try to copy and paste this I find out it copy and paste Chinese characters but anyways so I went to here and downloaded the driver and uh, it says download the zip file so you download that you extract it and install it so that's easy uh, then it says to uh, use the software and download that. So it comes with its own prepackaged software that's free called uCenter. So I downloaded it for Windows. It's kind of a small application. So let's check that out real quick. So it's this uBlocks uCenter. And the first time you power it up for the day, it will have to acquire the satellites which you can kind of see the progress here. And then it gives you some cool map information. So here it gives me a longitude and latitude on the map here and we'll explore that in a second. And it gives me the longitude, latitude, altitude and here which is cool which I didn't know about uh, it gives you me the speed I'm going at which uh, I'll explain what would be cool to use that in the future. Uh, so what we want to capture is this uh, this information right here that's coming out of the text. So if you don't have any familiarity with GPS, each one of these has a uh, group of data that um, you want to extract. And uh, we're going to extract that using Python. Okay, so with our G GPS connected, make sure you uh, exit out of the software whatever software you have because it is currently attached to this COM3 which is uh, a serial connection uh, through the USB drive and Python and the software can't access it at the same time. So exit out of that. Okay and before we do that let's go back to this software and let's take a look at the accuracy and for $16 I'm surprised at the accuracy. So what we're going to do is uh, take this longitude and latitude and do a reverse lookup on it. Okay so we're on this reversed geocoding convert where we're going to take the decimal version of the latitude and longitude like you saw in the uCenter and we're going to convert it. So this is indeed the address to my house and it shows a map to it. Funny thing about this site though is you can't copy and paste these values into the website because it says bot detected. So probably can't use this site for some reverse geocoding in the future. So or you can it looks like maybe you can register for free and get it but I just wanted to show you this is super accurate for $16. So now that we went through that, let's go through the code real quick. Okay, so we're in PyCharm now in this uh, project I call GPS. So the first thing we're going to do is import serial because that's how you uh, connect to your GPS. And then we're going to wrap it in a try and accept. So um, 
So accept the serial with the lowercase dot serial exception and we're going to print there's no GPS connected. So if you have the software open at the same time like I was talking about, you will get this error. There's no GPS connected. So let's close that. And now let's check out how I printed out my... So here we go, the longitude and latitude. And I have it on a while loop that will go until you quit the program. So we're going to first try and we're going to declare the GPS equals serial dot capital serial. Then we're going to pass it the COM3. Now I'm on a desktop and so I'm, I'm going over the desktop or I'm on a laptop. So I'm going over a PC connection. If you're using a Raspberry Pi, just know that to access your port, it's different. Then we're going to pass the baud rate equals 9600. So that is the communication standard for your serial connection. So while true, so like I said, I um, have a forever try, uh, true loop. So first we're going to get the actual bytes data. So I called a variable uh, called serial bytes, sir bytes equals GPS, which we declared up here, dot read line. Then we're going to decode the by bytes equals sir bytes dot decode and we're going to transfer it this and what it does is it takes out a lot of the line breaks and all like the text stuff you don't need then we're going to split it um, by commas and create a list so that way we can access the individual uh, data points so let's check out what that looks like by commenting out all of this and uh, you'll notice that this is similar. So what it's doing, I'll stop it. It is printing out a list version of the information we just saw, the text information. So these are the individual GPS data points that we're going to access. So if you're not familiar with list, this is uh, index zero or the first thing in the list. This is indexed. Um, one, which is the second item, and so on and so forth. So let's comment that back out. Okay, then what it's doing is printing out GPS data. And what these are are called uh, GPS sentences or NMEA sentences. And so these are the standard sentences for GPS receivers. Um, so each block of data is referred to as a sentence and they're parsed independently. Um, so this is the GPS sentences and it comes in an M NMEA format which we'll discuss later. So these are all the data points that you can get. So uh, you can get the geographic position, latitude and longitude. We're going to use this one, GPRMC. Time, date, position, course, and speed data. All right, and then you can see the rest. Some of these are just uh, error processing. All right, so this is the data we're going to be searching for. So if the data is zero, so if index zero, let me comment this back in. So if the zero index or the first item in our data list that we have here that we split equals this question mark GPRMC then we're going to just print that data there we go so instead of getting every single one of those index lists we are just getting these ones right here the GPRMC which is what we want so we are getting past this right here this 3237.21368 and the 09344.14559. And what that is, is NMEA standard um, coordinates. And that's not how we're used to seeing it. We're used to seeing what's called decimal coordinates. So let me comment that back out. So what we actually want to do is uh, convert that data to what's it called the we want to convert that data to decimal ok 
Okay. And so what we're going to do is get rid of this first. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the latitude that's in the NMEA format. So I call this latitude underscore NMEA equals data, the third index. So that's zero, one, zero, one, two, three. Okay. Then I just want the degrees. So NMEA is how we're used to seeing it in decimal is the first two digits is what I want here. Okay, so that's what this is. So the latitude in degrees, which is the first two numbers for latitude and the first three numbers for uh, longitude. So that's what I'm doing. I want the zero with or the nothing to the third item. So when you call this, it's called scripting. What it's doing is taking the everything up into the second item. So basically the zero and one index. So this is zero index, this is one index, uh, the 32. So now I have that, that in this variable called latitude degrees. Now if this element, so zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if the, da the fourth index in data, so zero, one, two, three, four, if this was south, so if this equaled S, then what we're going to do is take these latitude degrees, which is the first two numbers, make it a float, because right now it's a string because it's in a list, and then we're going to times it by negative one, because if it's south, it's a negative number. Okay? Else, so if uh, then the latitude degrees will just be a float, so in this case, just 32. Then we're going to change it back to a uh, strange, a string, and we're going to remove a dot zero because when you times it by a float, you're going to have a dot zero. So latitude degrees, just the degrees, which is the first two numbers, equals the string of this, one of these two latitude degrees, dot strip, and we're going to strip the dot zero because it was a float. Then we want the rest of the digits in what I'm calling the latitude of the multiple degrees equals this right here, the, the latitude of the NMEA from the second item to the ninth item or the tenth. So what we're taking is this right here, 37.21368. So what I'm doing is I'm going from the second thing in the index, so 0, 1, 2, all the way to the tenth. Now there's no ten digits, so it takes the last number. That's how you script things. So we're going to take that, the latitude, and I'm calling it the minutes, but that's not exactly true. The latitude in MMMM equals a float of this, so this right here, these numbers, and we're going to divide it by 60. Then we're going to strip the dot zero that you'll get when you divide by 60, because it's a float. And then we're going to return just the eight digits. So all I want are the last eight digits. So our official latitude equals latitude degrees plus a dot, a decimal, but we're in a string, plus the last eight digits of it. So that's a lot. So let me print this so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So first, let's look at the latitude degrees and comment everything else out. So what we did was we just got the first two digits, which is 32. Okay, so that's what we did there. Okay, then we took that and now we're just going to take the everything but that. So let's look what that looks like. So now we don't have the 32, but we have the remainder. So we're going to change that into a float. Okay, so we're going to change that into a float, divide it by 60, remove the zero dot. So what is the zero dot? Let's check that out. Print. So 
So see how long it is. So 0 point, because it did, divided by 60. So we're going to first strip the 0 dot. Then we are only going to want the last 8 items. Then we're going to say our latitude is the latitude degrees, which is just the first two digits, plus a decimal, plus this, just the eight digits with this zero dot removed and just the last eight. And that's how you officially get your latitude. So what? let's just recap real quick. First, we check, we get the NMEA latitude by accessing data the third index in our data of GPRMC. Then we get the first two digits of it and we check if it's south. If it is south, it'll be a negative number. If it's not, so in our case it's not, it's just 32, then we have the first two digits is 32 and that's what we call latitude degrees. Then we take the remaining of the numbers, we strip the dot zero out of it, or I'm sorry, once we have the latitude degrees, we strip the dot zero because it was a float. So now we have the first two digits of latitude degrees. Then we take the re remainder that's in here. So basically items 2 through 10. We make it a float, divide it by 60. And when you divide by a float, you get this zero dot. So we're going to strip that and only want that last eight. So we're going to strip this and only want the last eight. Then we're going to combine the two, this latitude degrees plus a decimal plus the lat. So I know that's a lot and that's exactly what we do with longitude except for one difference is that there is a leading zero sometimes and we are going to uh, check for that. So up here we have the zero index to all the way up to everything before this. So basically the first two digits. Here we want the first three digits. So that's what we did here. And now if we're checking for west, we're going to times by negative one, just like we did here for south. If not, then it's just the first two digits. Then we're going to strip that dot zero to get our longitude degrees. And so just like up here, we're going to take the third index to the t ninth, basically to the tenth, make it a float, divide by 60. Once you divide by 60, you get this zero dot. We just want the first eight once we remove this. And then our longitude will be the longitude degrees plus the decimal plus the stripped out last eight digits. And finally, we get our longitude equals this string plus longitude plus latitude. All right, that's a lot. I don't know if that's the most efficient. So if you are a wizard at GPS and know how a better way to transfer NMEA data to decimal, please let me know in the comments. But as you can see, we have a negative 93, and that's because we have a west in data element number six. Our latitude is positive, so that means we had a north. So 32.62, and then all we're getting is that, and it will keep running while this while true is current. Now, as you can see, there are small fluctuations in it, but I've ran a couple of these and they, uh, they're all pretty consistent with finding my address. So I can't wait to use this information in a wearable suit and other projects such as a, a Shane controlled RC car or a golf cart. And if you're wondering why I'm talking about a golf cart, then watch video 100 by clicking on this card while I explain all of the chain capabilities I plan to implement. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see me building this suit or uh, build chain, my digital assistant. Like this video and uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye world.